loving this outfit. Excuse me that I'm in my bathroom. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and oh, the music gotta go down, boo. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's start, and I'm gonna do my eyes first just because we're gonna be using glitter today, of course. So I'm gonna be trying to use some, some NYX product, just the ones that I have, of course. Um, yeah, let's get started. So since I do not have like a NYX primer, I just like to use some kind of like uh, concealer, and the one I always use is the Fit Me Concealer. You guys know this is the right of dye for me. So I'm gonna head apply a little bit, a little tiny like that. There you go. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that in with one of my Jessup brushes, which I really really like. This is such a like good quality brush for the price. It's like a set that I got from eBay. You guys should check them out as well. I also have a video or like a, a review on them if you guys want to see that. I'll link it below. You see that same brush? I'm taking my Love Contour Old NYX palette, and I'm using the same brush. Like I said before, I'm just taking that light shade right there just to kind of like set the whole eyelid. It's always great to like set the whole eyelid just because just to make sure everything is in place and also helps the shadow to kind of like look patchy. So I'm actually going to start with this little quad right here, which these are single shadows. I forgot the name of them, but they're from NYX and I got them from when they opened in Union Square here in New York. They was having like this four. If you buy four shadows, you get the little um palette. So I was like, oh, that's a good deal, bro. So I'm actually going to start with that orangey shade right there. I'm going to apply that all over my eyelid. We're going to use that as just transitioning color and i always like to start super lightly like i don't like to dig in the brush and the shadow and then apply it because you could get a whole patch um and look super crazy so you always start like super lightly and then just build up the color it's easier to build it up instead of taking away you know what i mean oh my i can't be looking at this light like my my eyes hurt already and again i'm using uh the mac 222 224 i'm sorry just want to make sure you guys uh, here are the brushes that I'm using just in case you're wondering and oh my god guys I did my hair finally I had like a fucking years without doing my hair you guys know me dirty, 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 dirty girl. So now that my kind of crease is kind of warmed up I'm gonna go with a darker shade actually I'm gonna go with more of a dense smaller not as fluffier brush just kind of concentrate it more in the crease and I'm using the same shade just kind of rebuilding uh, the color and again I'm using uh, just a brush small taper blending brush I want this to be like super easy and mochi kind of like um um, holiday you know what i'm hating like my lighting it's so messed up right now and i don't know how to fix it like i'm not good with lighting stuff and it just like kind of washes my makeup out and it makes it look like i'm doing such a bad job but you know like it just makes it look worse like what so I'm just going back with the MAC 224 just to kind of blend that in. Just making sure everything looks intact and neat and well blended. So that's kind of how it's looking. And I'm pretty sure I'm looking super washed out right now because this damn lighting I like. Okay, so I'm going back to the Love Contour Oil Palette. And I'm using this color right here. And it's actually like a contour and shade. But I'm just going to go ahead and apply that on my crease as well. And I'm using one of the Luxie brushes. And this is 121. It's the mini taper brush. Wow, I'm so washed out right now. And it makes my, my shadow looks super bad patchy so i'm gonna continue doing this process and kind of going back with that orange shade just to kind of blend in the whole eyelid next i'm gonna go in with this lingerie nyx lingerie liquid eye tint this is in the color sweet cloud i'm just gonna apply that on the eyelid yes girl yes honestly truly I love this shade. And I'm going to go back to the palette. I'm going to use this color right here. And I want to apply it all over the eyelid. Right on top of that shade. So I'm actually going to go back and use this shade right here. Just going to darken that crease. Because it's going to look too weird right now. So I'm just going back with that same shade that I was using on the crease first. This one. And I'm going to try to blend the harsh line. And I'm going to go ahead and try to like work with it super slow. So I'm going to try to put a little bit of that dark um, chocolate shade. Why does it look so good in person? But then in camera it's like what is that? So I'm going to go back and try to blend it with a little bit of that orangey shade so i'm actually gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of mascara to oh shit i need to do eyeliner the fuck since we're keeping this drugstore i'm using my favorite eyeliner of all time is an nyc liquid liner besides that one if you guys are looking for a high-end one it's the sigma standout gel liner in wicked and i love this thing Now, to make the other side look even, pray for me. So, I'm going to go ahead and use this lashes. I'm wearing today's Sumptuous Beauty. And their Instagram is also Sumptuous Beauty. If you guys want to check them out. These lashes, like, girl. Girl. I love it. Oh, my God. I wish they were more curled, though. 
When your eyeliner is even as fuck Go ahead and moisturize your face I'm using this for at least which you guys know I always use it But you always want to have like a barrier between your foundation and also your skin Just to help with the appearance and texture and all that good stuff I'm gonna go ahead and prime with a Maybelline baby skin pore eraser And I'm gonna apply this where my pores are like extremely like large Which is everywhere in my face <laughs> But mainly my nose, of course. Look at everybody's problems. Today, I'm going to go ahead and use the Maybelline Dewy and Smooth uh, Foundation. This is the, from the Fit Me uh, collection or line. Go ahead and shake that up. And I'm using a beauty sponge. I let Jeff Lua hit crack right now, but whatever. Let's keep going. I'm going to go ahead and use this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I feel like I'm going for a super, super dewy glow. <laughs> Welcome to the remix. I'm also going to go ahead and contour with this baby right here, the LA Pro Concealer. Ride or die, too. Why haven't I done the ride or die tag? Like, because nobody had tagged me. I think that's why. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and bake a little bit, not bake, but just like kind of set my under eyes with my um, air sponge. Tile. And I want to apply this dry like under my eye. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of this uh, Wet n Wild setting spray, I guess. I'm just gonna apply a little bit on my face. Oh, I was applying on my hair. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the Love Contour Old Palette from NYX, and I'm gonna go ahead and take that shade right here, apply it as a highlight. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the eyes actually. Actually. So I'm actually gonna go right in with this chocolate shade right here and apply it all over my lower lash line. I think I'm gonna go with this one first though. And then this one to darken it a little bit. So I'm actually gonna try to apply a little bit of the lingerie eye tint. And I'm gonna put it right in the middle. By the way, this dry is completely matte, which is why I like it. Like, it's not gonna transfer, so. And that, my friends, actually looks pretty good. I'm actually gonna apply a little bit of uh, black eyeliner also on my waterline. I think I'm missing a little bit of highlight in my inner corners from the same palette. Lightest shade! Now my face has dry, I'm gonna go ahead and contour a little bit more. Hopefully, I don't go too harsh. I'm using the next palette as well, this color right here. Now, I think we're good for the face and we're gonna go on to the lips now. I wanna use a dark lipstick and I don't have any dark lipstick from NYX. This is the only one I have and I don't think this looks... I apologize, but that's the only thing that I do not have from lipstick from NYX. So, I'm gonna have to go on with something else. I'm gonna go ahead and lip line with this pencil that I got from Amazon. I'm actually using this Gerard Cosmetic and this is in Lady Boss. I know this is not drugstore, guys, but I really want to use a dark color and I don't have any like drugstore dark colors. I'm sorry. I think too overlined. <laughs> So I'm actually gonna go ahead and take the brush um, that I always use for highlight and I'm using a little bit of a, a setting spray from Wet n Wild And I'm taking this essence pure new highlighter looks like this. I'm trying to open it girl Where are you because I need more highlighters? So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this around and dig in. Oh my god Like 
set right here from the NYX um, Union in Union in Union Square. Like, oh my God, what the fuck? I sound like crazy. I look so weird. <sighs> Why, God? Why? Super, super, super 